Hello everyone, welcome to today's edition of The Bottom Line. Here are the top headlines. Airbus reports flat first half deliveries. Tourism is investment priority, says Jamaica's Prime Minister Holness. International arrivals to South America expected to recover 35.5 million by 2024. Prime Minister to inaugurate development projects worth over 16,000 crore rupees in Diogar. Hong Kong lifts flight ban citing little effect on COVID. Laser show and water sports soon at Wysak's beaches. The Prime Minister will inaugurate and lay foundation stone of various development projects worth more than 16,000 crore rupees at Diogar in Charkhan on the 12th of this month. Mr. Modi will inaugurate the Diogar airport to provide direct connectivity to Baba Baidinath Dham, which is an important religious destination for devotees from all over the country. Air correspondent reports Prime Minister Nar- Narendra Modi will inaugurate the newly built international airport at Diogar in Jharkhand on July 12th. Prime Minister Andrew Hollis has listed tourism as one of Jamaica's key investment priorities while addressing a special delegation of some 70 private sector players and government officials from Saudi Arabia at the Jamaica Saudi Business Lunch on held at the Port Royal Cruises ship pier yesterday. The Prime Minister said there are many opportunities available in Jamaica for the acquisition of lands to build hotels and resorts. Vishakhapatnam District Administration has chalked out plans to set up a laser show at RK Beach and Water Sports at Lawson's Bay Colony Beach. It has also planned an adventure park and water world. The laser show will cost an estimated 2 to 3 crore rupees. The design will accommodate for 200 people at a time. The project is likely to be ready in six months and also provide employment, District Collector A. Mallikarjuna said. The District Tourism Promotion Motion Council will promote water sports between RK Beach and Lawson's Bay Colony Beach. That's all we have for you in today's edition of The Bottom Line. Stay tuned for more such travel industry updates. Have a great day.